Shout out to Brown, Aaron. Boy, Money Brown, he get a lot of money. That's why I call him Money Brown. What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight? Well, this your boy Money back with another one, man. And this one here is on the two big dogs at the Super Featherweight Division. We got Shakur Steves and the former WBO Featherweight World Champion, one of the hottest, most young talent fighters in the game right now. Probably the, the youngest fighter they got, probably the most potential and the most defense, you know, in the game. Then we have Jamel Hearn. We all know he is the current WBO Super Featherweight World Champion. And he's taking on Shakur Stevenson um, in October. But Shakur has came out and let Jamel Hearn know that we ain't friends, right? And Bo Mack, your fat ass know that you can't beat me. Every time you put somebody in the ring with me, I beat their ass. And, um, yeah, I want y'all to listen to what Shakur had to say, man. And I'll be back with the Great Assessment family. He's just a friend of my family at the end of the day. He's not my friend. He's not nobody I talk to outside of boxing. Um, we don't got no relationship outside of boxing, so uh, he's somebody I see around and he mess with the same people that I mess with. But other than that, we not friends. Uh, I've never really been his friend. Um, he's cool people. I don't got no problem with him at all, but um, it ain't like I check up on him whenever I'm not fighting or he check up on me, so I don't consider that a friend. I don't mind, but at the end of the day, I'm coming here to handle business and I'm going to make sure I win. You ain't never picking the fight. Nah, see, I put, I put you in the corner against you. Yes, you have it. Yes, I do. What's the point? Yeah. Oh. I don't want every fight in here and put me in the ring. Oh. You doing this world fight forever, I got? No, I didn't. You doing this world fight forever, I got? Who? It's the rest of you that no. came in the game. Yeah. All the other people that you bring in, you coach, that shit don't work. <laughs> you know it, though. <laughs> never. Especially not with her. Oh, wow. Hey, you got the heart. I don't know about her. Oh, you got the heart? Why you think he holding the belt? See, he fought. Who he fought for? What do you think he holding the belt? Edo. Little Frank did something like this tall. Right? As y'all can see, man, Shakur Stevenson up there talking that shit to Jamel and Bo Mack. Talking that shit to Jamel and Bo Mack. But, you know, Jamel said some few words back. You know, Jamel was up there. Y'all know he, um... Uh, so, kind of soft spoken, man. You dig? But Shakur Stevenson's out there letting him know, man, I'm coming for my scrap. <laughs> Bring me my scrap, dog. Bring me my scrap. I don't want to hear nothing else. Just bring me my scrap. And then he let Bo Mack know that I whooped every goddamn body you put in the ring with me. Bo Mack tried to deflect. No, you only, it's only one time. Like he said, everybody you bring in that ring and that you coach against me, that's your work. That's your work. Now, we all know Shakur Stevenson been in line for this fight against um, Jameer Hearn. But we know that Jameer Hearn had a COVID situation. We know Carl Frampton had an injury situation. And the fight had to get pushed back and get pushed back. And then it got to the point to where, you know, Shakur Stevenson was trying to get his opportunity. And Jamel was talking about fighting Oscar Valdez or going up to 135 and not giving this kid his title shot to fight against a real world champion so everybody can see the potential in Shakur Stevenson so he can show everybody that he is a bad motherfucker in this boxing game, that he is up and coming, and that he is one of the hottest young fighters in the game to be, you know, one of the pound for pound fighters in the future. Now, Jamel Hearn just beat Corey Frampton. Hell of a hell of a performance by Jamel Hearn. Stop Corey Frampton. Retire Corey Frampton. Got to get Miss Just Do. This is Jamel Hearn's fourth title defense, right? His fourth title defense. Some fighters don't even become world champion. But Jamel Hearn defending his title for the fourth time. Um, salute to him. I like Jamel. Got a lot of respect for Jamel. He's a Marine. I got a nephew that's in the Marine. Shouts out to my nephew. So, no, Jamel Hearn been through a lot of shit, man. He's seen a lot of shit. So, he's a, he's hard body, bro. Jamel Hearn is hard body. He ain't backing down. He ain't ducking nothing. But at the same time, you know, he was trying to do his best for his career. And I didn't knock the shit. If he could have got the Oscar Valdez unification, I wouldn't have been pissed off at the situation. I just wanted him to give Shakur Stevenson his opportunity because he know that Shakur, you know, would have got his opportunity if the fight would never got pushed back because they would never made it to the Oscar Valdez and the Miguel Burchett fight. But things happened. But nonetheless, the WBO came out, ordered it, right? 
it went down. They came up to a decision to where, you know, both of them going to get like one point something apiece. That's going to be their biggest paydays. You know, at first, the WBO was on some other shit trying to get Shakur like 70-something percent and give Jamel like 30-something. And I thought there was a lot of bullshit in the game. You feel me? But nonetheless, they came out with the right numbers. And we got this fight, if I'm not mistaken, October the 23rd. Now, man, Bomac had words, right? Bomack called me a shit starter. He said, all I do is start shit, this, that, and the third, because when I was going at it with Jamira Hearn, letting him know that Sha Shakur Stevenson deserved his opportunity, you know, he looked at me as, money, bro, you always starting some shit. I ain't starting no shit, Bomack. I'm just speaking the truth. I'm just speaking the truth. And look what Money Brown Truth did. Look what Money Brown Truth did. It got Shakur's opportunity. It got Shakur's opportunity. You understand what I'm saying? See, them facts hurt, y'all. I don't care what nobody say. Once you speak facts, them facts hurt. Whether they go against or are they with you. The motherfuckers hurt. You feel me? But one thing about me is I'm a truth teller, bro. You dig? And I can take the truth. If, if, you, if you're speaking the truth to me, I can take it. If you're speaking bullshit, I'm going to call you out on it. I'm going to call you out on it. Now, um, Shakur Stevenson is out here letting these boys know I'm coming for that scrap. And that Jamel Hurd can't fuck with me. And that's how I look at it. Jamel Hurd can't fuck with Shakur Stevenson. You feel me? And just because I talk the way I talk don't mean that I'm disrespecting nobody. I don't think he can fuck with Shakur Stevenson. I don't think that he's on Shakur Stevenson level. That's just me. Yes, Jamel Hearn was a U.S. Olympian, and I ride for my Olympians. I ride for him. Shakur Stevenson is a civil male Olympian. But I don't think Jamel Hearn can fuck with Shakur Stevenson on no level. On no level. You feel me? So when this fight take place and Money Brown telling y'all that Shakur Stevenson will dominate, don't be pissed off at me because I'm saying that. Don't make it as if I'm disrespecting Jamel Hearn. No, I'm just speaking how I speak, bro. That's how I talk. That's how I talk. You understand? And I got all the respect in the world for Jamel. But in this fight, I wanted to see this fight because I want Shakur Stevenson to show his skill set against a true champion. And Jamel is a true champion. This is his fourth title defense. His fourth. You got to give him credit at the 130-pound division. You got to. It's going down in Atlanta. You know, Black Hollywood where shit happens. You did tank turning that motherfucker up. You did Tank turning um, Atlanta up and Bob earned the move out there. You know, Bob was smart, man. He understand what's going on. He understand what's going on. And Bob is big in politics. So he, he, he deal with the, um, the geographical things. So now, looking at this fight, bro, looking at this fight with Shakur Stevenson with his defensive make you miss, make you pay type of um style. You know, Jamel Hearn is a boxer in his own right. He's going to have to probably try to be more offensive than he ever been because Shakur's defense is just going to be too good for him. So he can't sit back and try to outbox Shakur because it's not going to work. He can't sit up there. Yes, he's tall and longer, if I'm not mistaken. But you can't sit up there and try to box with Shakur Stevenson. It's not going to work. You have to try to be more aggressive than you ever was. You understand me? You're going to have to try to be more aggressive than you ever was. So in this fight, I'm looking forward to be a good scrap. I'm looking forward to be a good scrap. Bo Mack is a good coach. Bo Mack, fat, chubby ass, is a good coach. And I fuck with Bo. You know what I'm saying? But Bo be on the bullshit sometimes, too. You be on the bullshit sometimes, too, Bo. You did. So, looking at this fight, bro, this matchup, I, I keep telling y'all, Shakur Stevenson is the most talented um, young fighter between the two. You know, he's the more... I, I could say Jamel is polished. He's been up there. But I think Shakur IQ is more higher than Jamel, right? And I think he's more game than Jamel. I do. Jamel is a game dog, but I think um, Shakur is more game. Everybody looking at his last performance saying this, saying that. Well, we know um, Jeremiah Nakatilia, he didn't really bring the offense like he usually bring it, but he still had pop to it. He made Shakur respect his power, and, you know, it is what it is. But like Shakur say, the higher the, 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 the talent, the better I perform. The higher the talent, the better I perform. You know, people hoping Caleb Plant can rise to that level, but it ain't going to happen. You know, got to throw that shot in there. But nonetheless, nonetheless, though, Shakur Stevenson is going out there to dominate, bro. He's going out there to dominate. He's letting Bo Mack know, Bo Mack, none of your fighters can fuck with me, Bo Mack. None of your fighters can fuck with me. And you know it. You seen me in the gym. You seen me work. You seen me work with Terrence Bud Crawford. You seen me work with other fighters. Even the fighters you try to bring in and go against me, you seen me beat their ass. You seen it with your own two eyes. You know I'm the real deal. You know what I'm made of. You know Jameer Hearn can't fuck with me. You know he can't fuck with me on no level. No level. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, you went out there. You made him a world champion. But you're going to find out. What I am, you want to find out the skill set of Shakur Stevenson. You know a little few things on me that you think you got in, the, in your back pocket that's going to work. But that shit's not going to work. Like I told y'all, when you're in a gym and you're training with coaches, coaches are smart. They pick up on certain things. They try to use those certain things against you once you get into the ring. Bo Mack looked at Shakur Stevenson thinking he was picking out some weaknesses. Maybe when he was sparring turns with Crawford. Maybe he's trying to pick up some when he was sparring turns with Crawford or either of the other fighters that he threw in his back pockets because he knew this time was coming. He knew Jamel Herman was going to have to see Shakur Stevenson. He knew Shakur Stevenson wasn't going to back down from getting his opportunity to fight for that world title. He knew that. 
He knew it. He knew it was coming. That's why he tried to shame Monty Brown and tell me that I just thought shit and, and this fight shouldn't happen and try to get Jamel to fight Oscar Valdez, which I thought Jamel couldn't beat Oscar Valdez, nor could he beat Shakur Stevenson. That's just my opinion. I don't think Jamel Hearn would have beat Oscar. I don't think he's going to beat Shakur. That's just my opinion. You feel me? So at the time, I'm like, man, get that kid this opportunity. He deserved it. He sat out twice, twice, waiting for y'all boys to fight. You and Corey Frampton. And then when you get his opportunity, then you want to run off to 35 or you want to go try to fight somebody else? Oh, fuck no. Hell no. Shouts out to the WBO for stepping up, though, and saying, nah, you can't even go um, unify that bitch because, you know, unify is Trump mandatories all the time. But they stepped up and said, you can't even unify that bitch. You got to get your Chris Steves in this opportunity because this kid has been waiting and waiting and waiting, and we're going to honor our fucking our, our, our policy. And that's some trill shit. That, people say a lot about the WBO. That was some trill shit. Paco, shouts out to you for that. Shouts out to you for that. But this fight is going down October 23rd. It's another big one that I pray that we get to this fight and nothing happened because now a lot of shit been happening with injuries and COVID that we've been missing out on a lot of fights. I want to see this fight. This is another big one for October. Like I said, we still got fights lined up that can, that can send us out with a bang for 2021. For boxing 2021 you feel me so october 23rd is going down don't quote me on that date could be the 21st or somewhere around now but i know it's in october i know it's in the 20th or something that this fight is going down it's going to be a hell of a fight jamel hearn bo mack against the young king and shakur stevenson they all know each other shakur been in the, in the ring with bo mack plenty of times so it should be very very interesting and it should be fireworks like i say jamel coming to fight he just won't be victorious baby this is a war that you won't win jamel this is a war that you won't win, my brother. I'm telling you, Shakur will be victorious. Shakur will be a two-division world champion, and he will be the new super featherweight WBO world champion, bro. Good luck, Jamil. Good luck, Shakur. Shouts out to Bo Mac, Fat Chubby ass. I still fuck with him, but you're still a fat chubby motherfucker at the end of the day. Until then, it's your boy, Monty. It's the NSBC. Movement ain't nobody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You want to donate OG Money on Cash App. Trey have to 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.